you, Professor Keder, for appearing today on Chazot Zechonia. And we appreciate your time and uh, also the fact that you're willing to discuss very important issues, especially at this time in the situation that the state of Israel is going through. So the first question, which everybody wants to ask and wants to know, and I, I think we should ask it first because this is, let's cut to the chase. Peace, is that a possibility? Can we have peace? Can we have Western peace with Middle Eastern peace? What is peace? How can we define peace? And what is it going to be if there ever is a peace? You mean in the Middle East? In the Middle East. In general, not only between Israel and its neighbors. Right. Well, it depends on the way which you define peace. If you define peace in Western terms, meaning like what happens in Europe today, after the Second World War, and everybody remembers what uh, Europe looked like in the, in the Second World War. Occupation of France, Belgium, Holland, everybody remembers. But if you go to get today to Europe, or if, even if a Martian comes to Europe today, he will not believe you that only 70 years ago this continent was devastated with dozens of millions of people being killed for six years of uh, vicious war. Means the Europeans, the Westerners in general, know very well how to open new page and how to start living together rather than dying together. In the Middle East, the situation is a bit different. Here, uh, it's very hard for people to open new pages because uh, Middle Eastern societies still fight on things which were 14 centuries ago, like the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the fight over his legacy or heritage is actually the rift between the Sunnah and the Shia. And they are still killing each other 14 centuries after the Prophet Muhammad died. So here it's very hard for people to open a new page when this region is fragmented along tribal lines, ethnic lines, religious lines and sectarian lines and everyone here in the Middle East is loyal to his traditional framework rather than loyal to the state. So even states like Iraq, Syria, Algeria, Libya, Yemen, Sudan never succeeded to put an end to the everlasting feuds, struggles and wars between the components of the societies of this and this is why societies or states in the, in the Middle East, the modern states like Syria, Iraq, actually were failing states because they were based on societies which were conglomerates of traditional frameworks, tribes, ethnic groups like, Muslim, like uh, Arabs, uh, 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 Kurds, Armenians, um, Turkmens and all kinds of ethnic groups. Religious groups like Muslims, Christians, uh, Druze, Alawis, Sabais, Yazidis, Mandais, Zoroastrians, and all kinds of others. And sectarian groups like Sunnah, Shia, Christian denominations, and so forth. When societies are so fragmented, it is very hard for them to replace the traditional loyalties to one loyalty to the state, Iraq, Syria, or elsewhere. And this is why the modern Arab state actually is a failure. Because it failed to replace the traditional loyalties with a new one, modern one, the statehood. As it, uh, as it succeeded in Europe, it failed in the Middle East. So this is, I would, I would say, the source of all evil in the Middle East. When the other, whoever the other is, another tribe, another ethnic group, another religion or another sect, the other is the enemy. And the other should be, get killed because he is not like us. And this is this feeling is almost everywhere in this uh, in this region. By the way, and this is why they don't they want us because we are Jews. Since when Jews have the right to be independent according to Islam? 
Jews have to be living under the auspice of Islam, under the Vimma uh, uh, laws of Islam. So how, how can they uh, have a state? And don't forget that they hey, don't consider us to be a nation even, because we are communities. They think that we are communities who belong to all the nations in the world. And they don't recognize the land of Israel to be a land of Israel. This is Palestine. This is the way they view us. And the chances that the Arab and the Islamic world will accept Israel as a legitimate state of the Jews are zero. So, this is why I don't see the peace in the European meaning of this world will ever be here between Arabs and themselves, between Muslims and themselves, and between them and us here in Israel. What we can get is the only peace which can exist in the Middle East, which is peace which is based on deterrence, when the price of messing with the other side is too high. When we succeed to convince our neighbors that for their own good they should leave us alone, this is the time when Israel will enjoy peace. And this peace will last only as long as Israel is invincible. Now, how do you know this? So you're, just, so you're saying that peace is based on strength, not based on strength the... Strength and the readiness to use it. Strength enough is not enough. Strength, strength by itself is not enough. Is this a concept that the Western world can understand? Or because they are they're just beyond the... Uh, they've outgrown that kind of concept of force, may have might overwrite and so forth. Usually, Westerners think that every problem has a solution if both sides are ready to give up on something every side will give up on something which the other can, must have so they can meet in the middle and come to terms and sit around the fire and sing Kumbaya together this is the western concept of how to solve the conflicts in the Middle East, a conflict is finished by two means. First means is if one side ceases to exist. So there is no struggle anymore because the one side doesn't exist anymore. Means exterminate. Another way is to deter the other side and to convince him that for his own good he should leave you alone. And this peace will last only as long as you are strong enough and convincing enough about this thing that you should leave you alone. So this is the, uh, the only kinds of peace which you can find in this uh, region.